Hi again, here we are to continue with the Xcode and our um, login and register views. Um, and uh, so far we've got the view showing, but we need to do a little more work. So what we're going to do next is we're going to set up the login and register views. And each one of these views needs to have some IB outlets and IB actions so we can, you know, handle, um, you know, clicking on the buttons and things in there. So what we'll do is we'll open up Storyboard. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the login view here. And this one should have, if I go to the identity inspector here, it should have login view controller as the class. So what I want to do is I want to open up login view controller in the assistant editor. So I'll hold the option key and click on login view controller. So here's the login view controller there. And then I'm going to make a little bit of space here underneath class and above view did load. And what I'll do is I'll control drag from the username field into the, the login view controller class. And we'll call this username text. Okay, so we'll make an IB outlet. And then I'll do the same thing with the password, control drag and type in password text. And now I need an action for each of these buttons. So first for the login button. So I'll control drag from the login button. And you make sure you go from the button. If you accidentally click on one of these lines here, that can actually create a, you know, a link to the, um, to the constraint, right? Um, and But you should see it should say type UI button here and then you'll know you have the right one, right? Or if you click on the background, you know, you can, it'll say UI view. So just check that. And then let's set the connection type here to action. And we'll call this login button tapped. And I'll switch the type here to a UI button. Okay, and there we have an IB action, right? And now let's do one for the register button. So I'll control drag from the register button. We'll call it register button tapped. We'll set the connection type to action and the type to UI button and click connect. Okay, so that's pretty good, right? So now let's switch to the register screen. So here's register view controller, and this file is class register view controller. So let's option click on register view controller over here in the project outline. And then this should be register view controller here. And let's, again, we'll make a little bit of space up here. And then let's make an outlet for each of these text fields, right? So I'll control drag and we'll call this username text and then control drag and call that one password text and then control drag and call it password confirm text okay um, we're actually not even going to use that one, but we'll make an outlet for it anyway. And now next, we need an action for each of the two buttons here. So first, for the register button, we'll control drag and we'll call it um, register button tapped. And I'm going to switch the connection type to action. And then I'll set the type here to UI button and click connect. And then I'll do the same thing for the login button. And we'll set this to login button tapped. And then before I click connect or hit return, I'm going to switch this to connection, this type action, right? And then click connect. Okay, so there we go. So now we're all set up here. Um, and that, that looks pretty good so far, right? So let's save all that and close the assistant editor here. And what we want to do is let's start with the login view controller here. So let's go back to that file. 
And so when you tap on the login button, what we want to do is we want to get the username and the password here from these two text fields and pass them along to the login manager. Okay. So what we'll do is this, and we're just going to do this the shortest, easiest way. Um, if you, you know, if you're doing a real app, you probably want to do a little more um, validation and some other checking here. But we just want to. We're just using this to display and hide the login and register screens, right? So, um, so what we'll do is we'll say uh, login manager dot shared instance dot login with username, and we want to put the username string here, which is going to come from the text field. So we'll say username text dot text, and then for the password, we'll say password. text dot text okay and then I'm gonna get a um, an error here because these um, this actually this text property is an optional so we'll need to include the exclamation point there to um, unwrap it so we should actually probably do a little better checking there but I'm gonna just do it this way okay so there we go so wait a minute, so this doesn't do anything, right? It's just going to log us in, but remember, login with username and password returns a Boolean. It tells us whether we're logged in. So why don't we do this? Why don't we say if, you know, login with username and password, right? So if this returns a true, I got to go all the way to the end of this line here. It's hard to see there, but I need a curly bracket here, right? So then I have if, I wonder if I can do this. Let me write it like that, right? So if, you know, login with username and password, if it returns true, then we logged in, right? Okay, and if it doesn't, then, you know, we didn't log in and you could do something else here, you know, login failed, right? Okay, and I'll just leave that up for you to decide, but for right now, we're gonna log in. So if we log in correctly, we'll be here. And if that's the case, what we want to do is we want to dismiss this view controller. So what we'll do is we'll say dismiss view controller animated. So if you have a modal view controller that you've displayed with present view controller, you can get rid of that view by saying dismiss view controller. Okay, so I'm going to say dismiss view controller animated. And the property here of, you know, animated is going to be, um, we'll say true, so it animates, you know, as it gets rid of it, right? And then for completion, we can say nil again, okay? So let's save all that, and then we'll give it a quick test here. And where's my view? Oh, there it is, right? Um, let's test it again. So we'll, we'll test it here. And then we see the view slide it from the bottom. It wants a username and a password. I'll just type in a couple letters there. And then we'll click log in. And then it puts the thing away. And now we're logged in, right? Um, let's try it again. So what if we um, test it again? So that, that case there is where we called login manager. And we called on the login with username and password and we returned you know any values here these were not empty so this set is logged into true and then returned to true to say that we're logged in and dismiss the view controller if we leave these two fields empty and we click login you know nothing happens right and you could do some logic down here that displayed a message like you need to fill the fields out or whatever you're going to do or put a red mark by them or something right but, uh, you know, if we click on this with nothing, then nothing happens. But if we type in a username, and imagine this is my username and this is my password, right, then um, that would dismiss the thing and we're logged in, right? Okay, so what happens in the case where, um, where you're here and you've got the login screen, but you want to click the register button? right what's going to happen there so what we want to do is we want to dismiss this view controller but then present the um, the register view controller in its place so we'll do that in the next video okay so thanks for watching and i hope this is helpful